Hey filmmakers, Shongdi here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an anamorphic blur inside of Premiere Pro. So here is an example of an anamorphic blur. You can see it's stretching up and down. And this is an example of a normal blur. And one of the big reasons I want to show you guys how to achieve an anamorphic blur is that I can actually see that there is a lot of like anamorphic shot videos that actually wants to do like an blur in blur out effect for their text or for any other things and they use just a normal blur instead of more of an anamorphic blur giving it a direction or giving it a style that fits more with the shots itself so to achieve the anamorphic blur we need to have more control over the standard blur so a quick and simple blur effect that most of you guys know is the fast blur. However, in Creative Cloud 2017, they replaced it with the Gaussian blur. However, you can still find the fast blur inside of the effects list. However, the Gaussian blur and the fast blur are pretty much the same and it's just a renaming of the effect. We're now going to drag in the fast blur onto the text here. And we have the control over the horizontal and the vertical. So normally with horizontal and vertical, when we are going to change this blurriness, we can see it blurs in pretty much normally any direction. And if we are going to change this to horizontal, we get like a speed blur effect or a directional blur effect. And when we're going to change the vertical, we get actually a pretty close to anamorphic blur. However, on closer inspection, we can actually see that it's only blurring up and down and missing the blur of left and right. So to fix that, we need to copy this fast blur and we're going to change this to horizontal. However, we're not going to match the blurriness. We're going to actually use far less blurriness on the horizontal axis. And there isn't a proper calculation what kind of blur ratio you need to use because it's not a precise calculation uh, or precise measurement with these uh, yeah 20 and 80 numbers because it doesn't say like it's blurring like 80 pixels or a certain percentage so it's kind of hard to say if it's blurring the correct way so you need to kind of eyeball it and look for yourself if you really like the blur and if it actually fits the look that you want. So here we have the blur now with both vertical and horizontal. We're now going to show you how to make the effect of this going out or actually how it comes in and you will pretty much learn how it goes out doing it backwards. So here with this text we're going to actually remove these blurriness and actually already make a toggle animation to make keyframes of it on zero. And we're going to add a blurriness of 400 here so that it blurs out really far. And here we're adding a 150 blur. But you don't have to follow these numbers. These are just the numbers that I've used before. And now if we're going to move, we can actually see those anamorphic blurring. However, it feels like a bit of a hard stop with its blur stopping or removing. So we're going to right mouse click on the keyframe and choose ease in. So it actually goes in like a slower rack focus at the end going to like getting in focus. And now we're going to here inside of the motion and we're going to go over to the keyframes here. And we're going to also toggle animation here to add a keyframe. Go back to here when it's all blurry and we're going to make this 50%. Here we're going to change the opacity or well, actually it already makes keyframe, so we're going to add a keyframe here. I'm going to drag this about the middle of the two keyframes. And here we're going to drag this all the way to zero. Now if we play it, 
we can see it coming in here and I want this to ease in also so it actually slows in slowly and stop much at a nicer pace so here we have the full animation now and pretty much the other way around is pretty much the keyframes backwards so that was the anamorphic blur video inside of Premiere Pro. Hope you guys liked this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below or join us on our Facebook group. There's a link in the description and I'll hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.